Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Sister here, bringing us a Photoshop tutorial. And uh, quickly I want to say thank you guys so much on that 10k va uh, pack video. That was insane. The support on that is literally insane. It's just so, like, beautiful. I don't know, that pack, that video all around. And the pack already has 2,000 plus downloads. So just take that and just, like, notice what I'm trying to say here. That's a lot of people. I mean, just all around thank you guys so much. I really just... Sit, 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 don't, don't even know what to say. Seriously, seriously, just thank you. And I just keep the support coming, and I sure as hell will bring the best content I can out for you guys. And uh, so, yeah, anyways, you guys said you wanted more 2D banner tutorials, so I thought what's not better than doing my current, like, matte theme 2D textures or matte theme 2D banners, or whatever I named the title. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet. But, anyways, you can see that this banner looks really, really nice and clean. Uh, this is just basically the material that does, uh, the texture that does it itself. It's called M A T T E, matte. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But uh, anyways, it's just really overall nice. So I'm going to show you how to do this banner exactly right here. Uh, it's super simple, so we can get started right away. Um, uh, don't forget, 200 likes in this video equals a secret giveaway. And you can download it after it hits 200 likes. And it looks always just random, random graphic content things. It could be something from my store or something I made and you guys can use. Uh, so anyways, you can also download this right away, though. This matte texture, like matte setup, I guess you can say, which has these two matte textures I found on Google. Uh, you can find them yourself if you just type in black matte textures or just matte textures. Uh, you can just use these three though if, if you want. These are the three I use. I made this one right here and I found these two right here. So we're going to be using this one right here for uh, the uh, the tutorial today because that's the one I use in the preview. Alright. Alright, so when I use the, when I chose my colors, I basically just, you know, obviously selected something. Just take a mental image right here and if you just select somewhere over here and if you just choose like some reds or oranges or something or these blues, or purples or whatever. Uh, when you put the matte theme texture or matte texture on it, it just makes it more obviously darker, and it just like really looks really really nice and clean on it. So if you want to choose, like choose more dull colors, make sure you do that. Uh, stay away from like like really vibrant blues like this. Uh, maybe stay away from like greens and yellows altogether because it, the texture, the whole like part of doing this like little texture like setup or banner, is because you want to have the texture be shown and like have that indention thing look really really nice. Um, just make sure you guys choose a color that's more dark or dull, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so we're just going to zoom out really quickly, and use shift to move here. Okay, so we're going to use alt and shift, drag it, this basically duplicates it and drags it straight, like so. And we're just going to hold shift again, control E, or right click merge layers. And then we're going to use the, we're going to choose a layer theme, or layer setup right here. Uh, can you can either stay with normal and go on opacity, just lower it to about maybe like 80 or 86 or something, and you can just fill as well. It's just a more fine adjustment with opacity. I've, I've been using this a lot. It's just because, like I said, a more fine adjustment. Like, I don't know, just imagine like 100% being 1,000 and the opacity on 100 equals 100. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, so when, uh, you can either use normal, like I said, or you can just use, uh, if you're using like dull color like I suggested, you would use soft light, which looks really good overall. So I'm going to be using soft light for today's tutorial. Or layer setup right here, and then I'm just gonna be using it on like 95 opacity. All right, so what we're gonna do next is doing that indention, like indention, like thing that I have right here with this like rectangle right here. Uh, that's what I'm gonna basically be doing. So we can either use the rectangle like marquee tool, which we're gonna be using, or you can use a circle, or you can make your own shape with the pen tool. Uh, like I'll show you how to do that. But anyways, we're gonna get started. Make a new layer. Use the rectangle marquee tool. Make a nice rectangle like so. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I actually want to make it a little bit more smaller. All right, there we go. So when you're done with that, you can either, like I said, like I said, use the pen tool. So if you just made a shape, let's just make a shape really quick. Let's say if like, this is in the middle of the shape that I'm making, I can hold shift for straight line. Let's say you make a cool shape or whatever, and you're like, I want to use that. You would just quickly right click fill path. You wouldn't use the uh, fill dot 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 like option if you were using the uh, pen tool so just make sure you know which one you're choosing if you're doing whatever what you're doing um, so yeah once you do that you're gonna have this drop down use color and you just want to select the color that's on the banner like so press ok press ok again and then you'll have like a basic a plain sheet that kinda like has the same exact color as the banner itself alright so when you do that you want to double click on that new layer that we did if you use the shape or the pen tool or the marquee tool or whatever uh, you can just click on opa uh, normal, what the hell, <laughs> click on stroke, go to size and go to pick on one, and then just use the color, choose white, and then change the opacity to about five. What this will do is just make the uh, this little faint little white line on the sides right here, and it kind of just makes the indention thing look better. And if I go to inner shadow now, and I choose distance to zero, stroke to two, and then size to about 25 to 30, I'm just going to use 30, and then you want to change the opacity to about 45, 
and then the blend mode you see like this little like color thing right here click on that and choose this to gray or something like that nice gray and press ok and then you're basically done you see like the indention theme like coming through you can see what I mean right here and uh, when I say indention theme like I said if you don't under really understand it's just like this is more higher like in like in your mind you would see like this being more higher and this is lower uh, on like uh, like I say a plane or something so when you do that we're not done yet completely you just want to make sure you press control J or uh, duplicate the uh, texture that we have put it above the rectangle right click clipping mask and then lower the opacity a little bit so it's not like black like this um, 40 looks good I'm just lowering the fill not the opacity so anyways when I do that now I'm done and I can just simply just control click on these control J to make it put it in a group for the shortcut and then just control T for tree, uh, free transform and then just rotate it a little bit to give that little slant look uh, like I said you can use other shapes if you want if or you can use like maybe these little circles or use a circle and copy the same exact layer style and then make these little circles that has like indention theme and then put like your little icons in that it will look really really nice that way too uh, so basically we're done uh, I can just basically put my logo in now like so and then control T come on did I press control T there we go hold shift make it smaller and then put it in the middle and then I choose my color for my logo I just double click on it and I go to color overlay and then I select the banner again when I click on this select the banner again and then choose a blue that's from like this little thing right here it just looks really good uh, it'll help you choose a color quicker and then go to bevel and end bows or whatever and then go to five and put this to five as well and then put a drop shadow on zero right here in the distance put the spread to about five and then let's put your size up a little bit and then lower uh, go to this black right here click on this back blue that we have make it then make it a little bit more darker press OK and then lower the opacity to whatever you think I'm thinking like 20 yep that looks good all right so now I'm gonna quickly do like the finalization thing these little black bars I'm gonna make a new layer I'm um, use the rectangle marquee tool select along this you can use a ruler by either just pressing control R and then I'm going to go to my select color use this black or this like basically this background color that I have right here uh, alt backspace or alt, uh, alt backspace to use the primary color like the, this first primary color and then if you use control backspace you use the secondary color this is basically like a, a quick selection or quick fill uh, shortcut and then I'm gonna hold alt and shift and just drag it down below like so and then I'm going to simply uh, lower the opacity on both of these I'm going to click on both of them and lower the opacity on them I'm going to use my pen tool and I'm going to quickly select like just along this like side of it like so you can see what I'm doing here selecting uh, only the indention like triangle I guess or the whatever shape you have just want to select around it with the pen tool uh, simply just click around it and then just make sure you don't select on this side of so it just select the, the shape itself right click on it make selection press OK and then delete it on both of them or both the layers and then you can put the opacity back up on both of them like so and then you have these little black bars I kinda like messed up you can see you can just go back and fix it or you can just right click on it or go to the marquee tool again click on this I think it's the bottom one right nope it's the top one right click copy and then just move it over a little bit like so and you do the same thing for that one if you want to make it all clean and whatever they can merge it all together lower the opacity on it and I'll make it look more faint and stuff like that so then you're done and then you can just put your words you probably use the same color as your logo and like I said the basically you're done so anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial on this 2d banner it looks really really nice and clean like I said I use it for my personal channel if you want to use it for yours or some client work or some website or something uh, just keep in hand like mine that the whole point of this tutorials was just to use that matte texture because the matte texture looks really really nice and clean uh, one of my favorite textures to use now and so yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like in the video equals the giveaway, uh, like I guess you can say unlock key <laughs> in the description below. And uh, make sure you guys comment so you guys want to see next for my next tutorial. I might do a one uh, one through day tutorial or one through three day tutorial like I did before. Uh, one of my best series that I had. So make sure if you want to have that, maybe we can do that. Comment down below. I'll talk to you guys later. So switch you out. Peace.